Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm featuring the January card kit by Simon's S Stamp. And I have a giveaway on my blog, make sure to visit and leave me a comment for a chance to win this card kit. This is the January card kit, it is called Snowflake Builder and I absolutely love the color theme. There are lots of fun products included and let's start with those two Tim Holtz snow globes. These are super cute, I love that this is actually glass and not plastic and depending on what you choose to add inside they can work for any season for example you can add a little miniature flower or a tiny little butterfly inside for spring projects You will also get a blue alcohol ink as well as a jar of collage medium It works great as a glue and it is perfect for your mixed media projects you will also get a jar of Mica Flakes. This is a product by Tim Holtz and uh, I was really happy to see that uh, it was included in this kit since I didn't have Mica Flakes yet. So I'm super happy. They make the perfect snow. I'm going to open it up for you so you can see how shiny it is. These are flakes and look how beautiful they are. You can use the collage medium included in the kit to stick them on your projects. Collage medium dries completely matte so you won't see any shine on your projects and you are ready to go. You will also get a die that cuts out a snowflake. Let's take a look at the envelopes, four of them in winter colors that match the colors of the card kit. You will also get a silver glitter cardstock. And now the pattern papers. These are five pattern papers, they are double sided and they have a lovely silver foiling on top of them and let's take a look at the back of them now this is the glitter cardstock but here are the pattern papers with lovely designs at the back as well the stamp set this month is all about uh, snowflakes it is called snowflake builder and it's a large stamp set 6x8 there are lots of snowflake designs that you can layer one on top of the other as well as lots of sentiments for winter and finally, let's take a look at the colors of the cardstock. Four pages that match perfectly the colors of the envelopes. For my first card, I'm working on Yupo paper and I'm going to apply some clear alcohol. And then on top, I'm going to apply the ink that was included in the kit. I like the straw technique, so I'm going to use a straw and start blowing, making sure that I move the ink around. And I don't really care if I cover up completely the panel. I'm going for an interesting uh, background with lots of uh, blue variations in color. Now, when I'm working with my alcohol inks, and since I have all the supplies out, I always like to create more than one background. So while I'm waiting for the first panel to dry, I'm going to play a little bit more and create another background using the exact same technique. The truth is that uh, alcohol inks dry really quickly, so I don't have to wait a lot for creating my actual card. I use the die from the kit to cut out snowflakes. I'm going to create the same card twice, as you can see. So if you have uh, any difficulty cutting out this um, a snowflake just because it is very intricate, make sure to use a um, metal shim in your die cutting machine and I had no problem at all. Now there is a lovely banner in the stamp set which I'm going to stamp with black ink and there are uh, sentiments that fit inside that so they have a little curve. I'm going to stamp the banner first and then inside I decided to go with one that says Snow one like you. Then I'm going to use my scissors and do some fuzzy cutting. I'm going to cut out the banner leaving a white border all around so that I can pop it on my card. Now I'm going to use the smallest of the snowflakes from the kit and I'm going to do a technique with this alcohol lift ink pad where I'm going to create that look of uh, ghost snowflakes at the background. These are going to add lots of interest there. If you are one of the Simon Says Stamp subscribers, I'm sure you already have this alcohol lifting from a previous kit. So anyway, I am going to stamp here and there and uh, always make sure that you clean your stamp really well before you go ahead and ink it again with the alcohol lifting. Otherwise, it's going to stain your ink pad just like I did with mine. You can see some blue at the corner there. And that's why now I'm using my stamping cleaner by Altenew on my Xiaomi. 
so I know that everything is completely clear before I go ahead and pick up any ink again to do the same process. And I will be cleaning my ink every time, nice and neat, making sure that I will not stain my ink pad again. So anyway, I'm going to leave this ink a few seconds to dry and then I will use a clean paper towel and start dabbing all over the stamped snowflakes. This way I lift the ink and you can see the reveal a lovely ghost print of those snowflakes at my background. I think it adds lots of interest and visual texture. And now I have all the elements ready to go. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I used foam tape at the back of my background so that it is slightly lifted and I have a tiny little foam square at the back of the snowflake so this is popped up as well. I'm going to add the banner with a sentiment and finish off my card by adding a little gem at the center of my snowflake. This way I hide that tiny little foam square underneath. Here are some close-up photos on this card. You can never go wrong with alcohol links for a background. I think it looks just stunning. And I'm going to make one more card using uh, products from the card kit. I'm going to do some uh, heat embossing. That's why I prepared my cardstock with my embossing bag. Here are the two snowflakes that I'm going to layer one on top of the other. There are some lines that uh, there's a guide on top of the packaging that lets you know which uh, a snowflake goes with which one if you want to layer them but uh, feel free to mix and match you will end up with beautiful uh, snowflakes no matter which ones you decide to use so I'm going to stamp the first one with my embossing ink and then I'm going to lay on top the second stamp and again I'm going to stamp it with my embossing ink one more time so here I will end up with a more complicated design if you want, you can work with steps, so first stamp the first layer of the snowflake, apply an embossing powder, heat set it, then go back and stamp the second layer. You can then apply a different color of embossing powder, so you can end up with a colorful snowflake. I decided to go monochromatic, that's why I did all the stamping in the beginning, and then I applied my white embossing powder and heat set it. For the sentiment I went with Seasons Greetings and I'm stamping that with grey ink. This is a new ink by Alta New and it is called um, Grey Denim and it matches perfectly with my cardstock. I turned this panel into a square with the snowflake at the center and I added some double-sided tape at the back. Now I'm going to stick that on top of the cardstock, that the glitter silver cardstock that was included in the kit. And the idea is to mat it so I need to have a very thin border all around that. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing the border. And I love the sparkle that it adds at the edges of my panel. Now I'm going for a square card and this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm going to add some uh, uh, foam tape at the back of my panel to pop it on top of my card. I used one of my fishtail banners to die cut the sentiment and I'm sticking that at the center of my snowflake with foam squares at the back. And to finish off my card I'm going to add some extra silver sparkle with those silver sequins. So I'm adding some uh, dots with my uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue and then I'm going to stick on top the sequence and here is a finished look. I absolutely love how elegant it is and I think it would make a great gift tag as well to go along with a lovely present. And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want a chance to win this card kit, make sure to visit my blog. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.